story to tell. In Soviet Russia, weapons were usually only allowed to be exported abroad when their own requirements were met. There were exceptions, however, when Soviet weapons were especially designed and manufactured for foreign countries. In post-Soviet Russia, financial pressures have inspired a greater effort to market first-rate weapon systems internationally. Recently, Russia launched its most advanced medium-range air defense missile system, the S-350E, also known as the 50R6 Vityaz. If the S-400 will be a nightmare for strategic bombers, the S-350E will be the weapon that scares enemy tactical fighters most. Russian media said the state-level testing program for S-350E air defense missile has been completed and it will be produced for the Russian Aerospace Forces or the Russian Army. According to information posted by Reuters, Russia was ready to deploy the S-350E Vichaz missile system from 2019 to start the process of replacing the older S-300 missile systems. Interestingly, the S-350E system originated from the KM-SAM Chongkung project, a joint project of Russia and Korea that had been launched long before, from 2001 to 2011. At that time, due to insufficient financial resources as well as technology for independent production, Russia implemented a design cooperation program with a foreign partner. This was to gain experience in the design process as well as financial resources for the production of its own military equipment. KM-SAM is a Korean medium-range surface-to-air missile system developed jointly with Russia's Almaz Ante. During the development of radar for South Korean air defense systems, Almaz developed the S-350E Vichaz based on the Korean partner's idea. According to Deputy Director in charge of external economic activities of Almaz Anti Group, Mr. Vyacheslav Zirkaln, the S-350E is superior in features and combat efficiency to com comparable foreign products and the existing S-300 system. The S-350E is believed to share the same 9M96 missile with the existing S-400 air defense missiles. A Vichaz combat system includes one or two 50N6A multifunctional passive electronically scanned array radar units, 360 degree coverage for early detection, target illumination, and missile guidance. There is also a new 50K6A command post, fully autonomous but with the capability to interact with from 1 to 8 50P6 missile launchers and reload vehicles. The missiles are housed in 12 large tubes. The entire launch pad is set behind the BZKT 8-wheel heavy military truck chassis. The trucks are manufactured by Briansky Automobilny ZAV with diesel engine, all-wheel drive, and the cabin is arranged in the usual way in the front. The S-350E is designed to engage all types of flight targets, from current and future aircraft, including stealth technology, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The specifications of the S-350E are still quite vague. According to some information, the radar station can operate completely automatically without operators. Each radar station has eight channels of target illumination and 16 missile control channels, allowing it to guide 16 missiles to simultaneously attack eight targets at once. At the same time, this radar system is capable of simultaneously tracking more than 100 targets. Therefore, two radar stations can track more than 200 targets and simultaneously launch 32 missiles to attack 16 targets at one time. Forming a powerful regional air defense network, the system can operate in an extremely intense environment. What makes the S-350E Vichaz so powerful are the variants of the 9M96 air defense missile. With a small size and an effective range of 30 kilometers, some newer missiles allow the S-350E to destroy targets up to 120 kilometers away. 
If S350E is combined with Pantsir S1 and S400, it will create the most complete and feared air defense network in the world today. Depending on the type of missile used by the S350, maximum intercept speed can reach Mach 5.3 and above. In the future, the Algerian military is expected to buy a series of these S350E missile systems from Russia. According to reports, the S-350E missile system was deployed for testing in Masyaf town in Hama province, Syria, in September 2017. At the end of December 2019, S-350E was officially handed over to the Russian Ministry of Defense. My feature of the S-350E Vigers 50R6 answer. Thank you for watching. The video was completed with the voice of John Mark Erwin. Thank you very much. How do you feel about this video? You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.